Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video so today we're here with another map guide and it's spearhead today so spearhead is actually a big map you guys know this you can already see how big this map is just by looking at all the objectives that it has but some of these objectives are not really as important as you think they are so uh, we're not going to put a lot of time on those objectives and we're gonna uh, just try to focus on the main objectives that you you guys probably play more in uh, in a normal game so let me just start off from a2 a sector is not somewhere you actually play in a lot and there's really not much going on when it comes to like uh, having tips and tricks in the side and doing things that not a lot of players know all you need to do is like knowing where to get covered and uh, those places are actually the corners of this site for example if you take cover here uh, this is a good place the cover is indestructible and you're literally just head glitched which is a good sign for a cover so the the four corners of the map are just good to take cover in there's also something else that you guys might not really know and it's this one you can actually go prone here and get under uh, this small building now this is a good place to hide yourself if you're just trying to contest the site or you're just trying to be annoying really if they know you're here you're going to be having a really bad day trying to get out so i wouldn't recommend going there but if you're just trying to mess with people well this is a good place to be also inside this building is not bad really uh, just taking cover here and closing these doors will will literally just make it hard for the enemy team to get in and kind of expose you so that's about a2 now let's take a look at a1 all right now the same applies really for a1 as well uh, you're gonna take cover in the corners and the corners in this site are in my opinion just a bit safer than a2 but generally speaking a1 is a big site as well uh, but all you have to do is just take cover in those corners and stuff like that there's something I would I just want to show you take a look at this if I destroy some of these barrels inside here I can make some kind of hiding place for myself so this is something you want to know if you want to hide somewhere and people don't really expect you to be here that's something you can do other than that there's not really a lot we can talk about for a1 and a2 so let me just go straight to b uh, where there's more action really so in b1 as you try to get into the site the first thing i want to tell you is this you can actually do something like this get on top of this building and i have eyes on almost everything in the site which is a good sign but uh, you know there's also people spawning from back there and from around the side they have eyes on you as well so i wouldn't say it's a fair trade you you're putting yourself in a big risk to be honest this one is also a just a similar place to the previous one you're on top of that building and well uh, you should do this at your own risk however getting in this building this building right here is a bit risky and i don't really recommend you doing this because this place is the first place that anyone comes to check uh, when they first want to like clear this objective so just keep that in mind and don't really be around here too much another place that you can be is around here now not a lot of people really expect you to be here and it has a really good benefit for you and that's actually holding this building and whoever comes to check it you can also contest the site as you can see i'm in the contesting area you can contest the site from here as well and you can hold this uh, little building so anyone that comes in you can just cut them off so easily so keep that in mind as well also if you're trying to run away from like enemies and stuff and you don't have a good place to hide this is going to be the first place you're going to get in they actually might lose track of you not all of them but some of them might so uh, this is something to know you can also just destroy these barrels as well like previously we did in a1 and just get in the whole container the whole container is going to be playable so that's something you have to consider being on top of this is also not a good idea in my opinion because there's just too much chaos here going on when people are just trying to attack and defend these sites so let me take a look at c sector where the real action is and i'm going to start with c1 so c1 is actually a very simple site despite being like a huge site actually uh not a lot of people know this you might think that it, this is simple but really not a lot of people know this this is a very easy way to get into the site as soon as possible and have a height advantage at like instantly so that's the way you you get up here the only thing you should know is that when you're attacking the site there might be people spawning from back here uh from here behind those containers and for, even from behind that hill so they can cut to get you from up there so you're literally in constant danger in any given direction so that's something you have to consider and because of that playing up here has always a risk factor and you have to accept it if you want to have this height advantage now if you don't want to have that there are other places you want to you, you can actually play this is one of them not a lot of people really expect you to be here and this is also another one you're actually limited because of these barrels and this uh, like stairs 
but that's also somewhere you can go and play. You can also be around here, uh, which is a bit risky, but uh, well, the, the, this whole site is risky actually. You can't really do anything about that. Also, there are places like this and maybe somewhere like this. Uh, the only problem, like you can actually cover this place, this whole place, but you have to really be able to defend yourself if someone tries to flank you. And it's gonna be really hard. If someone comes at you from like on top of that hill, you're literally just dead. So what I recommend is don't try to stay too long in somewhere safe in this site because there is literally nowhere safe. That's the nature of C1. Always remember that. And don't really try to get up the, on these drones. This is not cool. As the longer, the longer you stay up here, the more you put yourself in danger. So always remember that the height advantage comes at a cost, especially in C1. So now let's take a look at C2. C2 is a bit more complicated, to be honest. And there are some tricks you can actually learn in this set. First of all, if you're trying to attack and you know there are people here, this is a very good place. Or literally just head glitched. The, the cover is great. And uh, the, mobili the mobility is just fine. You can retreat at any time. This is a good place to be. Also being around here and playing here in these servers uh, is just fine but if you want to make it just a bit more uh, unpredictable playing up here is going to be a good idea because people really come to check those corners and you're up here so they don't really expect you the same applies for here as well you can do that if you're playing crawford like i do right now this is a very nasty place you can be like anyone coming from that door from that hallway all the way from here you can easily just cut him down. That's going to be so easy for Crawford because the uh, Vulcan is going to be so, so powerful in that distance. This is also another place. Yeah, the same applies for here as well. This door, that hallway, and anyone coming from around here is going to be at your site anytime you want to hit him. You can also play on top of these objects. And you can just start doing things like this. The only problem here is that I don't think you can contest the site from up here. This is a good hiding place. At best. Like this is somewhere you're really not expected to be. Uh, but you can't contest the site from. This is this is a good place to defend the site. Uh, so I just wanted you to know that th that exists. And you can do that easily. Just jump from one to another. And that's really it. There's not much really to talk about. So let's take a look at D1 now. If you're trying to defend the site. Or like catching it in somewhere safe. you want If you want to play safe, this is the place for you. You can just crouch and have cover. You can stand up, see whatever's going on around you. It's a limited place, but it's safe. Okay, and I can also go ahead and play somewhere like this. I've never really seen a lot of players playing here. And because of that, the element of surprise is going to be on your side. So that's also somewhere you want to consider playing at. Other than that, if you're just literally sure that people are coming for you from E sector, like there are angles you can hold that are really hard to counter. Like this is one of them. You see the line of sight is great, but you're just literally a weapon firing from a hole. Unless you're dealing with a sniper, probably. No one can hit you from here. Also, these are just some smaller, uh, like tighter lines of sight for you between these blocks, uh, like this. Uh, this might sound stupid, like like you might actually say that I, I will never be able to hit people from here. But yes, you will. You'll be able to when the time is right. Also, you can come up on top of these buildings, which is not something I really recommend. Because in this site, again, high advantage really can hurt you if you're not careful for like uh, snipers and just generally how you want to play i wouldn't recommend being up here but this is something you can also do and just uh, i just want to let you know that you can do that as well this is another good place you can be you can hold this catwalk from and uh, you can also just see a lot of places behind the site anyone trying to push from like c2 to d is going to be cut down by you the only problem here is that you don't have enough cover so if you want to improve that this is another good place you can be uh now you can easily shoot people, anyone coming from here. The catwalk is in your sight. Even back there is partially visible. But uh, not a lot of people actually try to push from here. So this is a better place to be. So that's all about D sector. Now let's take a look at E. Again, E sector is like A. Uh, you don't really come across a lot of action here. But when you do, I want to tell you just that you can actually do a lot of things, especially in E2. Like E2 is a very versatile site. As you can see, the height advantages are interesting. There are places you can go that not a lot of people know about. One of them is actually here. On top of this. Now, take a look. This is a risky place. And I wouldn't really recommend anyone being up here. It is really unpredictable. Like, 
Imagine like standing here like an eagle, watching all over the site. Anyone, anything that literally moves around this site is in your sight, so you can easily cut them down. Which is somewhere I didn't really see a lot of people playing in. Like hiding in here. You almost have eyes on everything that moves around you. And if you go prone, no one can see you. Basically, no one can see you unless someone comes from there. And even if if that's the case, well, you have the advantage because you can just give him the element of surprise and uh, give him health. Also, what I recommend in this site is try to move as much as possible. Don't really stay in one place, especially when the action gets hot. Staying in one place in this site will always result in, in just dying. Try to mess around with the height advantage and try to always be on move and just never stop for anything unless it's absolutely necessary. That's how I really play this site and uh, I've been doing great so far. Now let's take a look at E1. E1 is probably the simplest site in this map, truth be told. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's a big site and there's not a lot you can do really here apart from like coming up here doing things like this. Again, don't really try to stop around here and try to always be on the move. This is somewhere you can actually go to be more unpredictable and the same applies for here as well. Just try to be on the move, try to always uh, have your cover if, if there is someone here and that's really all about it. I'm going to show you another entry uh, for the site. Some of you might not know this. If you destroy this fan and go beyond that, uh, there's another way into the site. Okay, <laughs> that was the tip. And if I want to be absolutely honest with you, based off of my own experience, LMGs really work great in this map. LMGs, DMRs, and sniper rifles, because uh, the places without cover in this map are really a lot. The distances between the objectives are uh, kind of open and without a lot of cover. So you can take advantage of all of that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this was helpful. And until next time, in another map. Stay cool.